bodies do the talking on body language. And here's the star of body language, Tom Kennedy. Hello. How are you? very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome to our show. We're having great fun this week. All right. We do appreciate that. Let's give that applause, however, for someone who deserves it, like Phyllis Diller, right over there. Yeah. You look so Cleopatra-like. I do you this. With, yeah. Uh -huh, oh, that. yeah. I love it. I wear my truss high. <laughs> <laughs> With the kidney stone on the outside. <laughs> I haven't been well. <laughs> Someone told me, I can't believe this, but you run the Circus of the Stars? Yes. What did so you much, do? So much fun. Well, first I worked with Charles Nelson Riley, and he broke his nose, his elbow, and his hip. Oh, that's oh, awful. It was terrible. He ended up in the hospital. And then they made me do something alone, but I learned a trick, the dish trick, where they twirl eight yeah. dishes all going at once. And while they're doing it, I pulled the tablecloth out from under a whole setting of dishes. And now I can do it. It worked? Well, uh, yes, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Never took a lesson, It's huh? a trick. It's a trick. Oh, it is a trick. I'll come to your house and show you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other half of the red team, Mike McKenzie, seven thousand eight hundred dollars. I would imagine, Mike, even though you're young in your career, your air career with helicopters and what have you, might have had a harrowing experience. Have you? I've had uh, one, one real scary one. Tell us about it. I was in Alabama, and we were at night, and we had a transmission oil pressure go to zero, which means that the blades will stop turning. And so we landed in a farmer's uh, soybean field in the oh, middle of the night. <laughs> it was quite scary. Wow. Ooh, just one of those per person, thank yeah. you. All right. One of the stars of the young and the restless, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Michael Damien. <laughs> Not just one of the stars of the young and the restless, but one of our young up-and-coming singing stars. Do you think that perhaps your singing career might take over your acting career? Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully I can balance them both. They can go side by side, hand yeah, in hand. I think so. Four and a half years on Young and Restless sort of proves that point. Can continued good success to you, Michael. Thank you. The other half of the green team is Julie Alford, and she has $1,300. <laughs> 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 Sweet life. The sweet life, yes. And uh, you came up from Texas at what age? You were born in Vietnam, mm -hmm. then went to what part of Texas? Austin, University at, of Texas. I went to University uh, oh, University, University of Texas. Texas. Mm -hmm. Then you came to Los Angeles how yeah. many years a ago? No, just a month ago. Is that all? That's right. Oh, oh like I Like just see. recently. What are your aspirations here in town? You wanna, what do you want to do? Um, I don't think I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> oh, in other words, you want to be an actress? No. Oh. <laughs> Then maybe you better not say it. <laughs> Whatever it is, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very All right. much. <laughs> the object of our game is to act out a series of words to help your partner solve a puzzle. Come on, fellas, let's go do this, Mike. Okay. What did she mean by that? I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. What were you going to do before you got into this crazy business? What did you think about doing before show business? Oh, before this? Yeah. I wanted to be a pianist. Oh, yes. yes. And you still are. Well, it didn't work then. Oh, I see. Oh. Ready? Yeah. 60 seconds on the clock. Here's the first word. Go. Okay, you're a mom. You you have a baby, a mother. You have a a, a, a baby baby toe, small toe, little toe, a uh, foot. You have a uh, you, you have a, uh, a <laughs> drink. You're drinking. You're drunk. You're drunk. You're a drunk. I did something wrong. I don't know. I have to find out. Oh, oh I'm you it was sorry. you all right, she was disqualified, ladies and gentlemen, because she used the prop and she's not allowed to do that. I Which just means pointed. we now go. Yeah, she sits down on the other side, oh. has a chance at the puzzle. Isn't that correct? Oh. What they've earned so far. So you are you are automatically retired. You go to your chair, and that yes, that's right. This, no, no, no. You stay right there. Julie comes over, and you get well. Here's the result of the penalty. You get first chance at this puzzle because of that disqualification. 
Did they have one earned before that? They did not. So we merely show you the puzzle and we take it from there. Let me read it for you. To avoid blank over a blank, you blank into this thing, which might get blank if you try blank the blank of blank from it. All right, Julie. Your time is up. Mike, now you're in the game. Which blank would you like, Mike? Uh, number one, please. To avoid backing up over a blank, you blank into this thing that might get blank if you try blank the blank of blank from it. Park? What? Park. Is it park? No. All right, Julie. Um, six. All right. To avoid backing up over a blank, you blank into this thing which might get blank if you try to blank the baby shoes of blank from it. A fire hydrant. Is it fire hydrant? Mike? Number five, please. You blank into this thing that might get blank if you try dangling the baby shoes of blank from it. Rear view mirror. Is it rear view mirror? That is it. No. <laughs> now, it is very seldom that we have to invoke that penalty. We're sorry, but that is the way it is uh, carried out. To avoid backing up over a... Uh, Wino, and that's what she was uh, oh, indicating, Wino. You glanced, didn't get a chance of that. You glanced into this thing, which might get bent, unacted, if you try dangling the baby shoe. Remember baby and then shoe. Yeah. All right. If you try dangling the baby shoes of Bigfoot from it. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to avoid backing up over a Wino, you glance into this thing, which might get bent, if you try dangling the baby shoes of Bigfoot from it. Big baby shoes. Yeah, big baby shoes. Big, we're talking big baby shoes. $100 for the red team. So you see, you won the $100 after all. And the first team to reach $500 wins our game and a chance at $10,000. We will return with Michael Damien's team right after this. Now, you're going to start.